What's up, everyone? So on this channel, I review, test out, and demonstrate various free VSTs in addition to doing some music production tutorials. And I realize if you don't even know how to install plugins or install VSTs, well, all these reviews I'm doing are kind of pointless. So in this very quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install VSTs on a Mac. Now, jumping into it, there's two main situations that's going to happen when you download a free VST or even a purchase one it goes for both. One is it's going to have an installer. So basically like an installer wizard, you can open it. It's going to put everything where it needs to go. You pretty much don't have to worry about anything. And option two or situation two, you have to do it manually. And I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you're probably in option two. So next you download a really good VST. So the I have this one, which is alter ego. Being honest, one of my favorite free VSTs out there period. So let's say you get it and you have this. You're like, okay, how do I, what do I do with this? Here's what you can do. First off, you're going to go to Finder right here. And you want to go to Finder and Preferences. Make sure that your MacBook Pro is checked or basically your hard drive. So that way you can access it. So if you notice, it's right here. And then we'll go to Macintosh HD, Library, Audio, Plugins, VST, and then boom. This is basically your VST folder. Now, as you can see right here, I have my VSTs organized by, I have some games, I'll probably do some videos about that. I have some kind of like a bunch of random VSTs and then I have my main ones so that way I can keep them organized because obviously I have a ton of VSTs that I use when I'm producing music. So, you know, you can kind of organize it if you want or let's say if you only have a few VSTs, all you're going to do is just click, drag in. It's usually going to have you authenticated, so I'm just going to do this real quick, right? Type in your password and then that's it. Now, basically, when you go to your DAW, this is going to be the default folder your DAW will basically reference to to use all your VSTs and plugins.